Hi, I'm Malia Collins. Hi, I'm Tommy Burrow. And I'm Gabriella Warburton, and we are doing steganography for our project for Engineering 6. So for part one, I created the flatten function and the expand function in order to format the hidden images. The flatten function was made to convert an image with pixel range of 0 to 255 to a range of 0 to 1. This was done by changing the image into a binary image with a um, level of 0 0.5, and it's now a logical array. And the expand function takes the flattened image and changes it from an indexed image to an RGB image with custom color map of just black and white. And it turns the logical array into a double array. So for embed one, we first resize the image. So it, and then to 200 by 200. So it was a quarter of what it originally was. And then we add, we chose, we split the original image into four quadrants, one per channel. So you can choose which section and channel you want. And then we added the flattened image into that part of the original. And then we found where the index was even and we changed it into an odd and then vice versa. And then we multiplied the flattened image by the inverse and targeted the white pixels. So if the index was odd, we subtracted one and made them even. And then for the recover function, we basically just undid what we did in the bed. So if the index was even, we made it right. And if it was odd, we changed it to black. For embed two, we use the LSB method, which involved um, changing the various channels into binary. So we have an eight digit binary in which we changed the uh, last column into one image, the second to last column into another flattened image, and then third and fourth last last columns into other embedded images. To recover that we took the embedded image, uh, we transferred in binary and we took our hidden images out of the binary the same way we put them in and then we took the long string, turned it into array so that we could turn it into an image. Okay now we'll go over the uh, password feature when the program initially starts uh, the password is necessary and since this is supposed to be some sort of secure program there is a pseudo virus upload and then once you get past that you're going to be loading your images and it's just a basic uh, read the image and uh, show it. We have a feature in the GUI that allows the user to load the hidden images with different color maps. Um, this was done by converting the index image to RGB using the respective color map, uh, such as spring or cool. To begin, we'll um, load our project. In this case, it's in Project Team Awesome, and we will go ahead and open the GUI and click run and it'll ask us to change the folder to the folder that contains all our stuff and we will enter our initial password if the password is not known for instance the computer bomb initializes um, this could be slower on other computers so hopefully your computer isn't terrible and then if you know the password you go ahead and type it in and it all goes away and the program starts all right as you can see this is the program you have various help screens to help you get through all the stuff this basically tells you that you click the load button it'll show i'll just show you it'll show the initial image and then it'll show your first thing to embed. Now we'll start by using embed one, and then uh, this is the faster of the two embedding methods. So we'll start by embedding, 
Then we could load again, bed, load, bed, load, bed. Also notice that this is counting. And we can also go here and change all the various colors of this guy. Just continue to load, bed, load, bed. Once we get to 10, it won't allow us to go any further because we have all the images that we're supposed to load. Now say we have extra images that we want to load. The program allows for two extra images, so we'll add this file again. <clears throat> Click embed. And then we'll load this one again. And embed. Okay, now you will save the hidden intel and it'll save to the folder that we are in. Now we go to the recovery side. We have the recovery window, it tells you what to do. So we used embed method one. Now we're gonna use recover method one. And again, there's a, a help button for that. And then we click recover, it shows the embedded image. And then it shows our first one and uh, it also shows the images recovered. We are also able to change all the colors of this and then also go back to the original. And we just keep, keep clicking recover and it will show the rest as well as the extra loaded ones. And then when it's done, it'll tell you that all embedded images have been shown. Okay, and now we have a reset button down here. So say we want to load more stuff, so we click reset, and then we go to load again, and it'll show that first image. And we'll click load again, and we'll try embed method two. Now this method is slower, but unlike before, where the um, uh, recovered images were blurry, this method will reveal uh, much better resolution. So we just keep doing our load click, load click. And this method is also capable of loading up to 12 images. And this is the uh, LSB method. And the previous method was using um, the assigned uh, flatten and then odd even uh, embedding and recovering method. Okay, we're almost done with this. Okay, and we'll load uh, the extras as well. We'll do uh, this one. Let's click finish. Bed. Load extra. Finish. save it and it will again save it to that folder and then we'll click recover it'll load the embedded image and then it'll begin to show your hidden images and that is it it'll go through all 12 images and then you can click reset you're also capable of closing the program and um, then doing the recover as long as you save the intel you don't uh, so from a practical point of view, one person could hide the images and then you could send them the file and they could open it and it would work. So, And there's all 12 images. And that is the secret agent image hider. Thank you.